Hi guys, good morning. I'm actually pulling the camera out in the morning. Look at me go. I'm sitting in bed, I'm nursing Avery, so I'm not gonna show you her, but Anthony came in my room with the boys this morning and look what he brought me. Breakfast in bed. I've never had breakfast in bed before. He's so cute, he made me, I already ate it, an egg sandwich, eggs, scrambled eggs, banana with peanut butter on it, some grapes, some broccoli, all the good stuff. And he brought me coffee too, which I already finished that off. I think in the almost seven years we've been married, I don't think he's ever done that for me before. It's not even like Mother's Day or my birthday or anything. It's just a Saturday. So sweet of him to do that for me. So that was nice because I just did not want to get out of bed this morning. I am pulling out the camera because the other day we ended up going to my mom's house. I was going to make a whole vlog about it and then I didn't end up like vlogging hardly anything so i'll just recap it for you so we went to my parents house and my mom was telling us all that it was just for easter pictures she was stressed because she didn't get easter pictures of all of us so she had us all like dress up in pastel colors super random and made all of us come on a random thursday which thinking back now i should have known something was up but i was just like oh whatever mom's just being demanding, I guess. She even made my two brothers come up all the way from Cincinnati, drive like two hours from Cincinnati just to come for a couple hours and drive back. So we were all sitting outside taking a picture <clears throat> and this is what happened. <laughs> okay, okay. Count of three, everyone say, Ellie's pregnant. <laughs> So yes, my brother and his wife are expecting as well as my sister and her husband. And I, you could see in the video, like I thought they were just playing a prank because my brother likes to play pranks on us. Um, he like pretended to propose to his now wife like several times. And so when he said Ellie's pregnant, I thought he was just joking, like making a joke. And then when like no one said anything, that's when I was like, wait, are you really? And she is, she's pregnant. I was like shocked. Funny enough, she and my sister Allison are three weeks apart. My sister Allison's due end of October and my sister-in-law Ellie is due in um, mid-November. So it's so crazy. We're going to have so many babies. So we're all in one year. We, we're going to have Avery born and then these other two babies born too. So, so fun. So that was a total shock, total surprise. Did not see that coming. Anthony said he knew something was up because we were all meeting. I thought that they were gonna wait until a little bit to start trying for a baby. So I was shocked when they said they were pregnant and so close to my sister and her husband, which is crazy. And so that was fun. And then we went inside and had dinner. And then we also had the gender reveal for my sister Allison's baby. They went ahead and did like the NIPT test. So you can do that like super early in your pregnancy and it'll tell you the gender of the baby as well as like risks for any like problems the baby might have. So they went and had that done. I've never had the NIPT done, but they did. And so they found out the gender. So my sister went to Meyer, had them bake a cake with the color inside. She and her husband knew they found out early because they wanted to know. And then they went ahead and cut into the cake with all of us there to tell us what the gender was. So I got a video of that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Garrett, why are you so nervous? Okay. You, you already know. <laughs> I was so so I can be mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh. Oh, 
So yes, they're having a girl. I'm so, so excited because now Avery and their baby are going to be like besties and I'm going to have to buy like all the matching outfits, nine month outfits for Avery and then like zero to three for their baby so that they can be matching. We have a family trip planned for Miami in December. And so my sister and I were talking about how we're going to have to get them like matching bathing suits because they're going to be so cute. We don't know the gender of my brother and his wife's baby yet. Um, I don't think we're going to find out until like June-ish. So we'll see if that one is a boy or a girl. But how fun if it was a girl, then we would have three girls all together. That would be so fun. But boys are super fun too. So lots of changes going on in my family. My extended family, I guess. So that was just such a fun day. And I got little clips here and there, but nothing um, crazy. So that's why I'm just going to combine that with today. Today, Saturday. Yesterday with Aunt was Anthony's last day of paternity leave. He goes back to work on Monday. I'm super sad, although he only goes back for a month. And then he's going to take another three weeks off because he gets six weeks total paternity leave. So hopefully it won't be too bad. And I just have to survive like three weeks of school drop off and pick up for Grayson and then he's done with preschool so he only has three weeks left which is just crazy so I'm soaking up these last couple days of me being able to sleep in Anthony's so nice and gets up with the kids every morning so I can sleep in because I'm up all night nursing the baby last night wasn't too bad Avery only got up at like 3 a.m and then like 6 30 a.m. So it wasn't too bad, but for some reason this morning I was just so, so tired. I lost my train of thought. I don't even know where I was going with all of this, but um, today is Saturday. It's a very cold Saturday. Um, it was like 80 two days ago, and then today I think the high is like 50, 55. It's very cold. Grayson has soccer. I was kind of hoping they would cancel his soccer um, because it rained a bunch last night and so I thought the fields would be too wet but unfortunately they have not canceled it so soccer is on Anthony wants to stay here with the two kids Avery and Porter I don't want to take all the kids because it's very cold out so I'm just going to take Gray on my own I don't mind that so I'll vlog a little bit of his soccer and then um, Anthony's friends wanted him to go golfing with them even though it's like freezing outside so I think he's going to go golfing this afternoon and I think I might take the kids to my parents house um, Avery is due for a bath. I try to give her like once a week. When they're this little, I only do like once a week. And my mom said she would help me bathe her because I did it once and it was kind of a hot mess because they're just so like flimsy when they're this little. And so I think I might do that. So I'll pull the camera out here and there um, vlogging what we do today. But yeah, I was just so excited about all the baby news and it's already giving me baby fever even though I have a baby of my own. I was actually kind of feeling kind of sad last night because like Avery's the littlest right now and everyone's like so into her and wants to hold her all the time. But in a couple months, October, November time, like she's just going to be cast aside and there's going to be two new babies for everybody to fawn over and want to hold and so it kind of makes me sad like Avery she won't always be the littlest but it's a good thing um and I'm so excited for my sister and my brother they're gonna be first-time parents and um, being a parent is just so much fun and hard but uh very rewarding so I'm super excited for them and I'm excited that I can help them and give them advice if they want it I'll try not to be one of those people that just like pushes advice onto them but if they ever need help or advice I'm there for them and of course my mom and and their in-laws too so super excited for them and yes there's gonna be a lot of babies coming up so my mom is just overjoyed with all the babies so so much fun <laughs>
crocodile. In my ways, my wiggle my hips. Wiggle my hips and do it. I can do it. I am my camel and my bed and my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Good. I am a donkey and my bed by. Kick my leg. Kick my leg. Can you do it? I can do it. Good. I am an elephant and I stop my beat. Can you do it? I can do it. Good job. I am. I am I. I am I. I wiggle my toe. Can do it? I can do it. Good I job. I can do it. I can do it. Good job. I am good reading. You are so good at reading. Gray, say hi. Hi. What are you watching? Mm. And Avery's taking a snooze in the swing. Felix is chilling over here too. Hi, Felix. <laughs> hey guys, so we're back from soccer. I took those clips of Grayson running. Um, he did okay. He always does really good in the beginning. So like for the first 30 minutes, they do just drills of practicing, working on soccer skills. And he always does really well with that. And then the last 15 minutes, they'll scrimmage another team of little kids and, like, do a pretend soccer game. And that's kind of where Grayson doesn't do the best. He is not aggressive at all, and so he'll just stay in the back and, like, doesn't want to get near the ball at all. And so the whole time I'm yelling at him, like, Gray, go get the ball, help your teammates, score it in the goal. And he just, like, is in the back. He's picking the grass. He's playing with his shirt. He's giving me thumbs up. Like, anything but going to get the ball. So it's a little frustrating, but he's having fun, and that's all that matters. So we are back. We actually made it back, and then it started pouring rain. So I was so happy that we didn't have a later game. Sometimes Grayson's games are at 11. Sometimes they're at noon. Today's was at 11. If it was at noon, we would have gotten caught in that rainstorm. So I was so happy we got back before that happened. Anthony has left me. How rude. He's out golfing with his friends, which is like a horrible day to golf because it's currently 55 degrees outside and cloudy. So they're probably freezing. I hope that makes them go faster on the golf course. I told him, please, please be back by bedtime because it's always so hard 7 p.m. and on because we try to keep Avery up from 7 to 9 and then bedtime for the boys is like 7 15 7 30 ish and so it's very hard to keep her up and also do bedtime with the boys when it's just one person so he told me he was gonna do his best to get back here in time golf just takes forever i that's the one thing i don't like about it is it's just so long and they're playing the whole 18 holes and so annoying so i'm happy that he's getting like some fun time because i think he's been going kind of crazy just being stuck on paternity leave helping me with the kids so i'm happy for him but i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do this afternoon with the kids like i don't really want to go anywhere it'd be really hard with three kids i was texting my mom yesterday i thought i'd go to her house but she hasn't texted me so i wonder if she's busy so we're just gonna stay here unless i hear from her because i don't want to bug her especially like my kids can be a lot <laughs> So I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll make cookies or maybe we'll go play in the basement. Those are kind of like my go-tos. We could watch a movie, but that sounds kind of like the easy way out. And I kind of don't like to turn on the TV if I don't have to. So I guess we'll just see where the afternoon takes us. Porter's taking a nap right now, but I'm about to go and wake him up. So we will see what we end up doing. Can't really go outside because, like I said, it's cold. It's 55 and cloudy. It looks a little windy, too. So I don't really want to take the kids outside. So, yeah, wish me luck. Oh, I just need to entertain the kids for a couple hours until Anthony comes home and saves me. So wish me luck. Hi, Avery. Hi. Hi. What do you think? Let's try again. Okay, go ahead. Show me how fast you can go. Ready? Go. 
Whoa. Whoa. Wow, Porter, you are fast. I'm really dizzy. Hi. You're so dizzy? Yeah, I'm dizzy. What are you building, Gray? I, I am building um, a castle. Ooh, I like it. Well, Can you I say hi? Hey all, so it's the next day. I didn't end up vlogging anymore yesterday. I thought we were gonna go to my mom's house, but they ended up having plans. So we ended up staying here and Porter actually ended up puking twice randomly. And so I had to like put him in the bath and clean up all the puke. It was a lot and Avery was screaming and it was just a hot mess. So I did not pull out the camera, but I'll just close out the vlog. It's the next day. It's Sunday. Today's the last day before Anthony goes back to work. So I'm super sad about it. He let me sleep in until like 10 this morning. So I'm feeling very well rested and tomorrow starts the 7.30 wake up call with the boys. I got to get all, all the kids ready in the morning, get great at preschool maybe we'll do the library with porter so just getting back into regular life now but i'm getting avery snuggles this morning and just watching the boys play in the basement thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time bye avery say bye, What's avery bye. Say? What's avery say? she says bye grace say bye, bye. porter say bye bye bye, -bye.